They say 2020 represents perfect vision, clear sight. And I believe many of us would agree that the past year has been a year of vision where God has revealed many things, allowing us to see clearly. I believe he's allowed us to see what happens when uh, the world stops trusting in him, when we create idols out of figures. He's allowed us to see how much we need him and to see the times we are in and how everything in life is hanging by a thread. We need his grace. And there's something else that has recently begun to reveal itself. Those who are true and those who are not. Unlike any other year in recent memory, there's never been such a great number of so-called prophets on social media platforms, in churches, making claims, trying to sell prophecies, trying to milk people out of money in the name of Jesus. And I believe that God has done something to waken up the church to see who is of his and who is not. We looked in this recent episode, uh, Prophetic Warning to the Church. If you haven't seen it yet, it's on our YouTube channel, AOC Network. In this episode, we explored how Jesus says before he returns, there will be many false prophets. In Deuteronomy, we see that one of the clear signs of a false prophet is failed predictions. And lately, there have been a lot of predictions, a lot of foretelling, and a lot of things are not lining up. And we're seeing this. These things are coming to light. And so you will see these things more and more as we approach the return of our Savior. And you will see uh, many of these so-called prophets trying to sell you prophecies. And here's the thing. It takes wisdom to get this, but you will realize that if any so-called prophet can get on camera and tell you a few things and then say to get the rest of it, you have to send them a check. Well, then that should be a red flag right there. If they have the time to, to tell you to order something, they have the time to tell you the whole thing. You shouldn't have to pay to get the rest of their prophecy. But this just takes wisdom and discernment from the Holy Spirit. So be advised, you're going to see a lot of so-called ministers of God who even claim to be Christians and will seem very convincing but will lead many astray. They will promise them easy times. They will promise them no suffering. When Jesus said that anyone who follows me will face suffering and persecution for my name's sake. Oh yes, he says this. They will say that, oh, these aren't the end times. Things are going to get better. When Jesus says that actually once the gospel is preached to all nations, things get worse. Why? Because the world rejects him and then that leads to the rise of the Antichrist. So continually test what these guys are saying with scripture so that not only you yourself are protected, but those around you, you can warn and help to protect them. I do want to say that sometimes when you listen to these prophets, you know, they can seem very convincing. In fact, they will actually say things to you that may make you think that, wow, they must have some connection with God because, they, you know, he's said this about my life and he was right on the money or he said this was going to happen to me and then it happened. But remember, even the world has so-called fortune tellers who can try to tell you things and you may say, wow, that actually is true. How do they know that? But here's the thing that you have to get. There is such a thing as called unclean spirit possession. Okay, when someone is filled with an unclean spirit, sometimes that unclean spirit, which is connected to the spiritual realm, will say things to that host, the one they are possessing, about you so they can mislead you into the wrong path. We see evidences of this in scripture. When Paul was among the people, there was a girl, right, who called out and said, this man is a prophet of the most high. She knew who Paul was. She had never met him, never met him. But she started to let everyone know this man is not normal. He's not like anyone else. This guy here, he's a, he's from God. And Paul didn't want her to say that. And so he looked 
at the girl and he wasn't surprised. He was not shocked. No, what did he do? He said, in the name of Jesus, come out of her because Paul knew that it was an unclean spirit within that fortune teller girl that allowed her to know things. And so just like with mediums and psychics and fortune tellers, just like how they are possessed with unclean spirits, which, which reveal things to them that the spirit may have picked up on, guess what? You have some in the church who are filled with unclean spirits. And then that unclean spirit will tell them things and then have you thinking that it was the Holy Spirit who revealed it. But God recently is allowing you to see who is filled with the Holy Spirit and who is filled with the false spirit. And so this is very important to note because in the spiritual realm, things seem to be revealed or, or appear differently. You can see slightly ahead into the future. And so an unclean spirit who gets inside of a host knows a little bit about what's coming. Even uh, the unclean spirits who were around in Jesus day, when they saw him coming, who were possessed inside of people, they said, oh, Lord, Jesus, don't destroy us before the appointed time. You see, the unclean spirits know what is ahead. They can see into the spiritual realm. They know how things are going to go. And so if they are inside of a person, they can reveal to that person things. So this is so important to get. Not every spirit that is within a person is the Holy Spirit. And you may have many people who claim to be prophets filled with unclean spirits who will say things to you. Some of it may seem to be true, but then some of it is clearly deceiving. And that's how you have a whole, you have many ministries that are built off of people possessed by unclean spirits posing as believers. And I'm not going to call any names. God hadn't called me to do that. Okay. He hasn't called me to do that, but he has called me to bring light to the situation. And you yourself can use your discernment to decide which of these ministries are of God, which of these ministries are making claims that aren't coming true, which of these so-called prophets are saying things that do not line up with scripture. You be the judgment call. And Jesus says if they're wrong and they prophesy and it does not come to pass, it's not that God got it wrong. It's not that the world has somehow jeopardized God's plans as if they could. No, it's because the false spirit in that host was talking and not the Holy Spirit. So you got to be awake. We are living in times where you're going to see deceptions of unparalleled levels. You cannot be a prey to these spirits that are not of God. This is the warning that the Lord has advised me to speak. May God bless you and keep you.